Independent National Electoral Commission don't talk say them they ready for the upcoming Edo State Governorship election we go share last September 21st, 2024. INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakubu give the assurance for stakeholders meeting we happen for Benin City on Wednesday where he for talk say make all political parties and candidates ensure peaceful election by stopping their supporters from violence. Oga Mahmoud constitutes say INEC don't complete most of the preparations where they required for the election. It comes to give assurance say the commission they are ready for the election. Let me reassure stakeholders that INEC is ready for the election. We are deploying the previous machines for voter accreditation and polling units and for upload of results to the IREC, INEC result viewing portal, the IREC. Only yesterday, as mentioned by the Supervising National Commissioner, we conducted mock accreditation in 12 polling units across six local government areas in the three senatorial districts of the state. I therefore urge you to play your own part positively in delivering yet another credible governorship election in a state. You should continue to restrain your supporters from violence and other disruptive conduct. And the best way to do so is by the personal example you set as political parties and candidates, both in your campaign speeches and in your actions. Inspector General of Police Kayode Ebetokun for in talk come to accept them go deploy 35,000 personnel for the election alongside 8,000 others from sister agencies for a dual governorship election on September 21st and say the state-owned security outfit, a do state security network, made the stay clear for the election as them they banned and remain banned. We understand the vital importance of our roads in this election and I want to assure you that we are well prepared to perform our duties with excellence. We will provide a conducive environment for the peaceful conduct of credible elections. The police will be deploying 35,000 personnel and this will be complemented by over 8,000 members of the armed forces and other security agencies. In this regard, the activities of Edo State Security Corps, which has been suspended, remain suspended until further notice. For the talk talk session with party leaders, civil society group, party candidates and others, Edo APC acting chemo Emperor Jared Tenebe and Edo PDP chemo Tony Aziek Bemi contact say is the series of attack. So we want to uh, draw the Inspector uh, General of Police attention to the fact that if they are suspended, they should ensure that they are suspended. For the police, as a target, we have not seen a partisan Nigerian police as under this idea. We are so, so disappointed. The Nigerian police has been so biased under this idea that I have a long list of my party members that have been arrested in a disaster start. I'm, I'm not aware that any member of the political party has been arrested. I'm aware that individuals who committed crimes have been arrested. If these individuals happen to be members of your political party, please don't take it as an attack on your political party. Major people wait and that for the event now heads of security agency, APC governorship candidate Senator Monday Okbebolo, Senator representing Edo North Senatorial District, Comrade Adams Oshomole, PDP governorship candidate Aswe Igodalu, APC deputy governorship candidate Right Honorable Dennis Idahosa, Edo State Labour Party governorship candidate Barista Olumide Akwata, representative of the Oba of Bini. Religious leaders, parties, chieftains, amongst others. From Benin City at those days, now Victoria Obu, they given her this story for JTV Nigeria. <laughs>